The education outreach program focused on the mandate of the Namibian Correctional Service that is to provide a safe, secure and human custody of, of, of offenders in order to rehabilitate and reintegrate them into society as law-abiding citizens. It also included raising awareness on the type of offences, community service orders, procedures and items that are prohibited in the facilities when visiting inmates. Police comes, they arrest me, they investigate, they charge me, um, I'm taken to court and if found guilty after the investigations are done, if I'm found guilty of murdering or committing the crime that I was arrested for, then found guilty, prosecuted, that is where the Namibian Correctional Service comes in. Now with us, within admission, when you come in, you are being assessed, I'm being assessed um, by the, the, because we have now a, a modern correctional approach that we have handled or that we now do so that we can handle this person correctly. I've already described and explained that community service order is a court order. If you have committed a minor offense, not a major offense, now I spoke about minor offenses like shoplifting, stealing from the shop, or criminal injuria. Maybe you have insulted someone or uh, something of that nature. You will now be sentenced before the court of law is found guilty. But then you will not be sentenced to serve inside the correctional facility. Because this will even bring correctional facilities to be overcrowded. And crimes that may not be considered for community service may now be raped. If you rape someone, it is unfortunate. Murder, killing someone, it is unfortunate. Stop theft, stealing. Uh, cows or goats of someone, fraud, or you rob someone, or bestiality, having sex with an animal, all of this is not considered for community service. Councillor for Oshiwarongo constituency, Marlene Bakera, has called on Namibians to embrace the work of the Namibian Correctional Services in rehabilitating and reintegrating offenders once released into the community. Our brothers and sisters, our own people, doing this marvelous job, huh? changing the lives of the inmates. They are supposed to be heroes of this country because they are rehabilitating the lives of the people that have been going to correctional services for wrong reasons, coming back in the graded in the society, being better human beings. I will call them unsung heroes of our society. I think those of us with families in correctional facilities should be at ease, knowing what are happening to our people in the correctional facilities. This is what those who attended the outreach program had to say. Most of the time we are just seeing these guys in their uniforms driving up and down to courts. But uh, today we could understand that their purpose, why they are there, and how they do really help our Namibians who are going through things that uh, on the end of the day that one can see they are the ones who help our people out so that they can come rehabilitated back to the community. The whole information sharing was very necessary as uh, we live in a, a community where crime is on the rise and it's important to know as a, a, as a community, it's a community citizen that uh, these people are being rehabilitated and being brought into, a com into the community. Um, and it's very good to know that there are services available for these people. They are not just thrown into the correctional facilities and, um, and are left. They are being rehabilitated, they are being given services, and they are coming back into the community as changed 
and reformed people. So I think this is very important to curb the increasing crime that is on the rise in Namibia, especially on gender-based violence.